evaluate a e to the minus i pi by 4 and b i to the power minus i so when it says evaluate uh, i'm going to attempt to express it as, as just a number so cartesian form or if we can get to something else then maybe that too so part a we have e to the minus i pi by 4 so this is a complex number expressed in uh, in Euler's form right so remember e to the i theta equals cis theta or cos theta plus i sine theta so this is e to the i and then it's if i just put that minus with the pi by four uh, minus pi by four okay so e to the i minus pi by four must be cis minus pi by four so we need to work out uh, the cos and sine values of minus pi by four so let's draw a little circle so pi 180 pi by 2 90 pi by 4 45 minus pi by 4 minus 45 it's here that's minus pi by 4 the parent angle is pi by 4 and you should know cos pi by 4 is root 2 over 2 and so is sine pi by 4 so for minus pi by 4 well the cosine will be exactly the same you wouldn't know it from my diagram but the x coordinate will be exactly the same so root 2 over 2 but the y coordinate will be the same size so it's still root 2 over 2 but it will be it's clearly negative minus root 2 over 2 so e to the minus i pi by 4 equals cos i might write that there. so equals cos minus pi by 4 plus i sine minus pi by 4 so that equals root 2 over 2 minus root 2 over 2 i and remember that was e to the minus i pi by 4 part b we have i to the power minus i i to the power minus i now this is a bit more difficult because we don't have e to a power we have i to a power so we're going to have to do a bit of work with this because uh, we're going to have to to put this i in euler's form in the first place before we can do anything with it okay, so we need to work out what um i is in in cis form polar form and then try and get an euler's form from there so if we just draw a little argon diagram we've got the real axis and the imaginary axis Obviously, i as a number is purely imaginary, so it's 0 plus 1i. So this is 0 plus i to the power of minus i. So it's 0 on here and it's 1 up here, and you can see that angle is pi by 2. If I just draw this, so that's uh, i, the modulus, the length of the arrow is clearly 1. So i must equal 1 cis pi by 2 which is just pi by 2 or sorry cis pi by 2 okay so this now equals cis pi by 2 to the power minus i and now we can put cis pi by 2 in Euler form which remember is e to the i theta theta being pi by 2 equals e to the i pi by 2 and then we're raising that to the power minus i okay now we can use the index laws on that so we can say this equals e to the i pi by 2 times minus i like that powers on powers you multiply the powers so now you've got equals e to the where you've got a minus a negative in there minus you've got i times i which is i squared times pi by 2 now we know that i squared is minus 1, so minus i squared must be 1. So this is e to the power of 1 times pi by 2, which is just e to the power pi by 2. And you might be looking at that and thinking, oh, can I put that back in another form? You actually can't, because this is not e to the i pi by 2, it's e to the pi by 2. So it's just, just a number, just a constant. So actually that's finished.